Hello, hello, hello. This is Baxter from Misfit Island. Misfit Island supports organizations looking to improve their internal culture and their customer experience. Today, we're talking about leadership. Recently, someone asked, can leadership be taught? Before answering that question, we have to define what leadership is. To be a leader, you have to be leading someone. Someone is following you, you need followers. Many times we think of leaders as a personality. As a society, we say someone is a natural born leader because that person has a certain quality. They have a dominant personality or a passionate speaker or attractive or some other, who knows, charisma. Indeed, those types can generate followers. So in that sense, yeah, they're a leader. Although I would actually put them in the category of influencer, not necessarily a leader. Let me know what you think in the comments below, if you agree. Do you believe there's even a difference between an influencer and a leader? So if you don't have those qualities, does that make means you can't be a leader? Well, I disagree. I've worked for many leaders, not just bosses or managers, but leaders. Leaders who were soft-spoken, introverts, or whose looks didn't necessarily stand out, but they were leaders. So here are 12 qualities that I think define a leader. These are things that leaders do, how they think, how they act, and the things they focus on. I call these the 12 D's of leadership. If you want to strengthen your leadership skills, you can work out and build each one of these in your life by focusing on just one of them each month for a year. And then by this time next year, your leadership abilities will be sharp. We'll go through the 12 D's of leadership in this video, but look for related videos where we go more in depth into each one. Those bite-sized leadership boosters will really motivate you. And if you like this vibe, please subscribe. Then turn on notifications and you won't miss when those other videos come out. Which one of these D's should you focus on first? I recommend this one because it'll help you with all the others. Distractions. A leader knows how to deal with distractions. They don't let the dangers of distractions derail them from their purpose. That would be very deadly to accomplishing their outcomes. They're aware of distractions and they know how to navigate them. So leaders stay locked in on getting things done. The next D is discussion. Leaders have relevant, connected, engaging, and motivating discussions with people all around them. They seek out engaging conversations that happen at the right time, at the right place, with the right people on the right topic. Next, leaders are disciplined. They know and have a strong sense of what to do and when it needs to be done. They expect a return on their investment. They are aware of the impact of their actions. Here's the next one. Leaders delegate. They get others involved and share appropriate tasks so people can get things done and contribute to the greater good and share in the rewards. Similar to delegate, leaders distribute. Leaders know how to balance and work across everyone and place, putting people in position to succeed. Delivering on goals are essential. They know what it takes, and it takes many hands to accomplish big things. Here we go with number six. Leaders know how and when to defer to others. They know they don't have all the answers and need to promote other voices and point people to other resources. They even let others take the lead at key impactful moments. It's not about getting glory for themselves, but positioning others to receive the accolades of positive recognition. This is actually something that excites them. Number seven is diversity. Diversity is not just based on gender, race, re religion, or socioeconomic background. Leaders understand that diversity of thought from people of different backgrounds contributing their unique experiences creates a more holistic and balanced approach to any issue. The next thing is leaders defend. They stand up for what's right, period. Leaders make decisions. 
They take all the information in and they're decisive. Yet they tend to hold these decisions loosely. They know or have a strong inclination when they need to decide and then focus the team in the right direction. However, as new knowledge, information, and data enter into their view, they're able to pivot and continue to drive forward. Their decisions are inclusive and for the greater good. Next, leaders disrupt. They're innovators. They don't just accept the status quo. They're visionaries, and they're always looking to progress, evolve. This typically means disruption. They want to make things better. For them, it's not about just doing things because that's the way they've always been done. They disrupt things that need to be disrupted. We're almost at the end with number 11. Leaders are determined. They are relentless and unwavering in their focus and are driven to get things done. The final D on our list is really a D and D as they go hand in hand. It's discover and develop. Leaders see the gaps in knowledge, information, talent, and skills and develop them. They find those missing pieces, both within and without, and work on upgrading them. This is leadership. This is who you are. This is how you behave. This is how you encourage others. This is how you set others up for success. And if you focus on these 12 Ds of leadership and develop them, then you'll be a great leader the best kind of leader, the leader that we all need. Focus on just one of these characteristics each month and in a year, wow. Do you agree with our 12 Ds? Is there anything you would add or perhaps even take away? Let us know in the comments below. Remember, we'll go deeper into these characteristics in short focus videos, so look out for them. And really the easiest way to do that is to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification. Then you'll know when they're available. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, we appreciate a like, click, click. That's it for today. The sun is setting on Misfit Island.